Good afternoon and welcome to the Perkins Garages YouTube channel for a Ford Ranger Thunder walk around video. But before we do get started, if you are enjoying the walk around videos and don't want to miss another one ever again, may I suggest you clicking on the subscribe button and that way you'll keep up to date with all the Perkins Garages content. This here is a Thunder Grey Ford Ranger Thunder double cab featuring the 2 litre bi-turbo engine producing 215 PS of power. That 215 PS of power is then transmitted through all four wheels through a 10 speed automatic gearbox. The vehicle itself is on just over 31,000 miles and we are registered on a 70 plate so the Ford warranty has expired but we are going to sell this vehicle with six months of Ford Protect warranty with it on the moment of sale. So let me walk you around this beautiful Ford Ranger. So we're going to begin, like always, at the near side front bumper. And here I am going to present to you the beautiful remote central locking key. Clicking on the unlock button in turn is going to wake up the daytime running lamps. A quick disclaimer, they could appear to be flashing in your video simply because the frequency in which my camera records at. But let me assure you in real life they're not flashing and they look absolutely incredible. So they are part of the LED headlights inside there and they are complemented also with the LED front fog lights. Moving ourselves around the front lip of the bumper there we can see we have front parking sensors trailing all along the bottom lip of the bumper. This vehicle is fitted with the Wild Track Driver Assistance Pack. So that includes a front facing radar just down there, which is responsible for things such as pre collision assist. I shall cover the driver assistance pack in its entirety once I'm inside the vehicle. Moving ourselves around the Thunder now, there's the big point to notice we have these beautiful, I like to call them red nostrils on the vehicle. So you have a beautiful front grille there. And you have red detailing all the way around the vehicle. It really sets the Thunder apart to a standard wild track vehicle. Moving around the front bumper now, we come to the offside front. We can start to look at these beautiful gloss black alloy wheels. So these are, let me just see, 18 inches in diameter they are beautiful alloy indeed you can see how lovely the condition is so again we have continental tires fitted the standard and they're in pretty good condition just drawing your attention north quickly as we look at the windscreen we have a lot of automation on this vehicle that there is a light sensor for the automated headlights so as the sun goes down and the moon comes up your lights will come on automatically uh, in addition to that if i just get square onto it once more we have another sensor there, which is a traffic speed sign recognition camera. This is works in a coordination to your speed limiter. And we also have one there for rain sensing wipers and also for automatic high beam. You might have noticed as well, at the top of the vehicle, we have black painted roof rails. So if you do require a roof box, that is easily achieved. Drawing your attention back down to earth now, in a nice colorway with the gloss black wheels, we also have the gloss black mirror covers as well. Moving around now to the driver's door because we have a little bit of a specification to talk about. So if I just lock the vehicle using the remote central lock-in, place that back in my pocket and take you to half zoom. The little indent on the door handle there signifies we have keyless entry. So if we can get the mirror involved as well, when I tap behind the door handle, that will unlock the vehicle. A tap again on the little indent there will then lock the vehicle. So if I was just to unlock it, there's a safety aspect, so if you don't open the door within about 20-30 seconds, it will then lock itself again. So keyless entry is a very convenient system if you have your hands full of shopping or child or tools or anything like that, you need to gain entry, which is also complemented with the keyless start-stop button. You just lose the zoom again and we'll start to make our way around the body of the vehicle, but just remember to watch out for the indicator lights when it locks itself. Big fan of the thunder badging on the driver and passenger door either side. Moving ourselves around the vehicle now, we eventually come, come to the offside rear. This is where I get the camera nice and high and just gently rock it back and forth, hopefully showing you how beautiful all of these body panels are. There you go, so there's the vehicle locking itself once more. So then we're just gonna slowly creep round and show you the offside rear wheel. So the Rangers come with rear drum brakes. These are ultra efficient and ultra low maintenance. They are self adjustable inside so that you are not gonna have to do any maintenance repairs to them in a very long time. Also, the Ranger is fitted with a leaf spring suspension, different to the McPherson strut because this has a higher payload. So you can get up to a ton and a half in the back of this Ranger, not a problem. 
So again, down in that little cubby hole there, you can see a full-size spare wheel. It's a lot easier to show you here and it is crawling under the vehicle. That's a full-size spare wheel, which is also locked into place. So you have an additional lock on the keys there to ensure it's only going to be you getting your spare wheel out. Starting to cruise around the rear of this Ranger now. We have lots of goodies on the back here. Uh, let's begin with rear parking sensors all along that bottom lip complemented beautifully with a high definition reversing camera just underneath the four badge a, fit, a factory fitted tow bar uh, it also appears here we've got this nice little cover over it to keep it nice and protected also comes with the eu socket there as well on a brake trailer this will um, this will tow up to three and a half tons would you believe by law if it's an unbrake trailer that is 750 kilos any more information you need about any specification or towing, please get in contact and any of the sales team is more than happy to assist you. Coming over to the near side now, we're going to give it the exact same treatment. So starting the camera nice and high, just gently rocking it back and forth, showing you how beautiful everything is. Like so, we can link that nicely to the near side rear wheel. Give you a good look at that. And we can follow the near side side step all the way down to the near side front wheel and give you a good look at that. So again, we have lovely thunder badging on the passenger door there. Uh, keyless entry also features on the passenger door handle as well. As we're moving around the rear, we can see we have the rear privacy glass, obviously the rear, the gloss black wheels, the black handles, black mirror covers, and rear privacy glass really goes well with the thunder gray color scheme uh, so this vehicle is an eco blue vehicle so that means we have an ad blue system ad blue gets filled up in our workshops when we do the a used car prep so you don't have to worry about that for a very long time but a quick mechanics lesson ad blue is a solution that is stored in a large reservoir and basically ad blue gets sprayed onto the exhaust gases making this vehicle a nice clean exhaust so that eliminates a lot of nitrous oxide in the exhaust gases making this a ULES compliant vehicle, a Euro 6.2 compliant vehicle also. So the indicators have gone again, it's self-locked itself. So now I'm gonna to have to go back to the remote central locking, clicking on the lock button, and then turn, unlock the rear tailgate. Pulling that down, we've got the classic Ranger workbench there, places to put your T as well. So it's a really, really nice, heavy duty, hard wearing plastic on there. This vehicle is fitted with the mountain top roll cover. So when the key is in the horizontal position there, we can push that down. Please excuse me for two seconds, live video guys. Push that down like so, God I've got a weak thumb. And we can retract the mountain top roll cover to show you the pickup section of the vehicle. As you can see there, that is a divider, so the divider can be brought forward or completely removed altogether. As you can see, we have tethering points on either side, and they have a 500 kilo capacity. Behind that little shutter there, the little divider, is also a 12 volt outdoor socket. So if you've got maybe a radio, power packs, cool boxes, they just need to be charged up. It's a perfect place to do it. So the mountain top roll cover comes with this lovely little thread, so you can just pull it back, and it locks itself into position once more. You can just keep that away. Then we can shut up tailgate beautiful i don't think i've shut that properly so let's just pull that across wonderful so that is the exterior and the pickup section done for this ranger now it's time to have a look inside the rear obviously it's expired once again so unlocking the key wonderful so i'm a big fan of the thunder interior so on the door cards example we've got this beautiful synthetic soft touch leather defined by some beautiful red stitching all the way around so this is kind of anonymous with the thunder brand so looking at the floor to begin with we have the ranger fitted floor mats in there already in the center console there is a plug socket which is ac 230 volts or 150 watts next to it is a 12 volt socket um, spin the camera around now to look at the rear seats again it's very hard wearing durable leather um, it's going to last you the test of time and it all comes with this beautiful red stitching as well i'm a big fan of that if those of you carry the kiddies around we have iso fixing on the left hand and right hand rear seat so clip the kiddie seats in after all this is a perfect family vehicle as well we 
Opening up the driver's door now. Again, we have that beautiful soft touch leather on the door card there. We have all four window controls, which is the driver's window is a one touch automatic system. And you also have the child lock there for the rears. Interior locking can be found just left of the door handle. Spinning the camera around now, we can then start to look at the beautiful front two seats. These are heated seats and they are electrically adjustable as well with thunder embroidered in the top part of the back section and it's very supported you can see the lower back support there and you've got lumbar support on the inside which is manually adjustable but again look how perfect that leather is indeed for a 30,000 old 30,000 mile old vehicle that looks in incredible condition coming down now these are the controls to seats they are a one a two a three a four a five a six a seven eight way adjustable driver seat and obviously lumbar will give you nine and ten i'm just going to jump inside the vehicle now you may hear a little bit of distortion on my microphone so please just bear with me for a moment okay so like previously mentioned the keyless entry is complemented with the engine start stop button the press your foot on the brake click the button once and that will gain you power to the vehicle so to begin the interior tour i'm going to be showing you around the driver display after turning off the heating okay so we have two screens either side of the analog dial i'm going to be using the arrows on the corresponding side of the steering wheel to navigate around the screens so to begin with, let's go to zoom, let's focus, and let's keep the camera as still as I can. So the left-hand screen refers to your entertainment, navigation, and phone. So you can have all your radio on there, for example, different navigation preferences. This works in coordination with the sync module, so once you have your forward navigation set, that is where it's going to come up with. In phone there, look, we have your phone connectivity, referring to your Bluetooth audio. Below it there, we have your uh, ambient air temperature, we have a compass, and we also have a clock. In the middle section there, we have the analog speed dial, speedo, speedometer, whatever you'd like to call it, lots of words this afternoon, with miles per hour around the outside and kilometers now in the middle. In the bottom section there, being an automatic, we have the gear selector indicator. The right hand side of the screen is where you will see all of your essential driver information and all of the goodies for the driver assistance pack. So for example, at the bottom right, the exact mileage on this vehicle is 31,174.8. As you can see now, we're looking at a... Is the radio on? My apologies, should have turned that off really. There we are, sorry about that. So um, uh, as you can see, we're on a trip computer screen at the moment. We have a fuel gauge and we also have the RPM on the side there as well. I'm bring the camera around more, we can see it a bit better. There we go. So if I was to click in to the menu now, we have display mode in there, so you can have the RPM gauge if you like, a digital speedo, distance to empty, live tyre pressures, average speeds in there, distance to empty again. Coming out of there, we can go to different trip computers, fuel economy screens, and this is the uh, Wild Track Driver Assistance Package. That comes with AdBlue status, so you can click in there and see your current range. This will be filled up on a used car prep, so this... Uh, don't you worry about that just yet. We've just taken this range into stock and we're, we thought we'd bring it to you as quickly as you can. In chimes, you've got different chimes there. Cruise control. This vehicle is fitted with the adaptive cruise control, which I'll cover in a minute. We've got driver alert, lane keeping, pre-collision. We have a speed limiter. That could be set to intelligence. That works in a coordination with a traffic speed sign, which should be displayed in those two dark circles at the bottom there at the moment. Traffic signs, again, tire monitor. So loads of nice driver assistance software. In settings, this will display vehicle settings, and in there you have lighting such as auto high beam. Come down to locks for your keyless entry. Uh, we have remote start, so this works with a Ford Pass Connect app. So please download it to your mobile phone and take advantage of the remote start feature. We have wipers, so rain sensing wipers. We have lighting, auto high beam. Tons and tons of automation on this vehicle. So massive massive fan of the uh, usability of this vehicle so coming out of there once more that is the driver assistance screen now we can navigate you around the steering wheel so we've covered the arrows below it there we have the buttons for the cruise control so as i say this is the adaptive cruise control so this works in accordance with the vehicle in front of you so you can set the distance to the vehicle in front using these arrows here but it will effectively match their speed and you can set your speed using the arrows on the right hand side as well limiter can be found bottom left and you have the standby cancel off button 
top left, the left hand side of the steering wheel now is referring to media controls. You have a volume rocker, you have voice command, mute, pick up, decline, and previous and next song function. We press the video into the middle now in the interest of time because there's so much to talk about. In the little cubby hole there, we have a little fan as well, not a fan as such, but a vent for your air conditioning. So in the summer months, pop your cans of drink in there and keep them nice and cool whilst you are busy. Two adjustable cup holders. I love Ford cup holders. You know, you've got the nice sprung loaded, so when you put your bottle in there, it's not going to fall out when you go around and round about. We have the 10-speed automatic gearbox controls there, and this can be considered an automatic function because we have the up and down for the gearbox on the right-hand side. The vehicle defaults into two-wheel drive, we also have the four-wheel drive settings on the right-hand side there as well. A cluster of buttons in front, uh, we have automated stop-start off, diff lock, hill descent control, we have trash control off, this one I'll come to, and parking sensors off. Uh, further above it, we have two USB-A ports, this is perfect for data transfer, so for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, plug it in using a USB data cable there, plug it into your phone and it will mirror your phone onto the screen. Two 12 volt sockets. These are the controls for the heating, ventilation and air conditioning. So we have a dual zone climate control. So both sides of the cabin could be set to individual temperatures. In addition to that, we also have the electronically heated front windscreen. So that's perfect for the colder months approaching. Recirculation can be found there and different flows of vents throughout the middle. We have two physical temperature buttons with fan speed found in the middle. This vehicle comes with what's called a CD player. People used to put music onto CDs, you plug it in there and it plays your music. Amazing. So if you just put your albums up into the loft, get them out. Get them out. Anyway, this here is a Sync 3.4 module. We know that because we've got the dark blue band at the bottom. It divides beautifully into audio. In an audio, we have different sources such as AM, FM, DAB, CD player and Bluetooth audio. Clicking on climate, we have the physical climate screen, so you can see the, the digital readout of different temperatures, and where you can set individual temperatures for both sides of the cabin. Automatic function is found at the top there. We have rear demist and recirculation on there as well. Clicking the home button once more, going into phone. This is where you can add your phone via Bluetooth. It will be displayed there. We also have the ever brilliant forward sync navigation. Uh, I use it all the time in my vehicle, it's never let me down. You bring up the key, the keypad, Charlie Mike 776 Sierra Alpha. See how close that is, how fast that is, very responsive. Click in the search box, navigates you straight to Perkins. I won't click start because I'm here already, but it's a very nice function indeed. Over into settings now, in the settings widget there, swipe left once, you have your, your tile for Apple CarPlay. So a little explanation about Apple CarPlay. So if you have a supercomputer in your pocket, such as an Apple iPhone, plug it in using the USB data cable. See my other photos, you can see my iPhone mirrored onto this screen. I can take advantage of all my applications, such as my mobile phone, my text messages, but this is all whilst using your voice or voice command button on the steering wheel. From there, you can activate Siri. Siri, you can ask to do anything, whether it's make phone calls, send text messages, ask what the cricket score is, anything you like it's hands free it also enables applications on your mobile phone such as your google maps apple maps Waze, you know things like that so it's a very user-friendly app and a lot of people won't live without apple carplay anymore and i think i fall into that category after using it it is fantastic um, i mentioned earlier we have a beautiful tow bar on this vehicle so to complement that we have a nice high definition reversing camera and that black line in the middle if you do attach trailers often that is going to be a lifesaver. So no more shouting uh, at someone out the window, left a bit, down a bit, up, no, 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 no. You can literally hit your trailer to by yourself. Top right-hand side, we have the proximity sensor for the front and rear parking sensors. That should give you an intermittent beep that will increase in frequency as you get closer to the object in question. Uh, popping the vehicle back into park now. I can click on that lovely P button down in the center, and this is for the Ford Active Park Assist. So this one in particular will give you a parallel park in. So if you do struggle with your parallel parking, this vehicle will quite literally park itself for you. So you can use the indicators to dictate which side of the road you require parking on, and it use the parking sensors to build an image to see if you can fit in that gap. Once it realizes it can, simply follow the instructions on the screen, and the steering wheel will go 10 to a dozen and you'll get in. 
that space in no time at all. So I believe that is about it for me. I think I've covered an awful lot. If there's anything I've missed, please do get in contact using the number 01376 550 If you like the video, like the video. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. And I shall speak to you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.